the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to build, to construct, to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities. We're building a home for the mind, shelter for the mind. Because as we go through life, we're bombarded by all kinds of things, the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. Even the mind itself, in fact, the mind itself is probably the worst of the attacks that comes, comes into itself, picks up all kinds of ideas, and then it stabs itself on those ideas. So we've got to devise, devise some way of finding a shelter inside, build a shelter inside, so work with simple things, basic things. So your foundation goes down deep into the basics, and it's going to be really solid. So simple things like mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, the ability to watch what's actually going on. And through those, you have to develop your discernment. That's one of the really distinctive features of the Buddha's teachings, is the amount of emphasis he places on your ability to discern the things that are really important in taking care of your own mind. But the discernment has to be trained to see what's connected with what, what's not connected with, with, with other things. See where distinctions are, see where connections are. That's all basic sensitivity and intelligence. These are all qualities we all have to some extent, but it's using those to build a really solid foundation in the mind. That requires work, but it's good work. And we think about you know, building the guest house down there. That's a couple months it'll be done. Was building a home for the mind sometimes can take years. But it's a lot more solid. This kind of home can't be burned by fire, and it can't be stolen by thieves. It can't be washed away by floods. It's safe all around, all throughout the year. So this is a good construction project we're working on here, developing the good qualities of mind. Make them into a home for the mind. This kind of home is not like the home where you close the windows and close the doors and don't know anything about what's going outside. You, know, you have windows. You have doors. When things need to come in, you let them in. When you need to know things, the windows are there to look through. But you're safe. This house is well guarded. Sometimes when you, when you get discouraged, thinking this is taking a long, long time, well, think about how long it takes to build a home outside and all of the difficulties that are involved in getting lots of different people to work together to do that. Fortunately here, each of us is working on his or her own home. And if we're really working on our home, that's going to be helpful to the people around us. When there are issues that arise in the monastery that are difficult to settle, it's because people aren't working on their own homes. So make sure that you keep your focus inside here. That way you protect yourself and you provide a good environment for other people to protect themselves, too. <laughs>